here we are again uh friday night um film night as i've dubbed it for um well uh reasons last week i i, I wanted to talk about films so i called it film f uh friday film night and uh tonight i decided to talk about my films and actually um a couple of people have mentioned that this um yeah it could be quite good to talk about um what uh yeah the, the stories behind the films that we've made and so um uh let's have a let's have a quick um resume of the week um while possibly some of you still watching adverts although um i should really turn those adverts off anyway so um tonight i've got uh three films about um uh the places we've been to once uh, just a bit of a bit of an old old one you'll see Freya is quite young in it so that was 2014 2013 something like that uh it must have been 2000 oh maybe even before that oh it's true maybe 2012 anyway so yeah it was it was, it was probably 2012 anyway um um so it's just one from the archives and I'll give you a little bit of background behind it uh, and the other two are from Kefalonia, and I'll give you a little bit of uh, background behind them as well. So, um, uh, without before we go on, um, if you like the videos of Kefalonia, there are spots on the Kefalonia trip yacht trip that's in September, going on the twenty seventh of September for a week. So, uh, if you're interested, there's only a couple of spots left. So, if you're interested in coming out with us and doing uh, at least one of these two dives that I'm going to show the videos of, uh, then uh, drop us a line and you, you know, you're welcome to join us. Free Fest is only two weeks away. If you've uh, if you've booked your spot, then uh, uh, that's good. If you haven't booked your spot, then you're running out on spots. I think the kayaking is now full. Uh, the cave kayaking, cave sea cave kayaking is uh, full. Uh, and we've got a, a nature yacht trip on the Thursday as well with Marine Discovery, which will be awesome. And there's places on that going uh, going fast. Okay, so without further ado, let's go back into the annals of time. So back to 2012 uh, that I've just worked it out as being. So um, this is a, a place called Lutraki in Greece. So it's a, a Greek film night tonight. Uh, so this is a place in Lutraki, it was on the mainland, um, just uh, just the other side of the Corinth Canal um, from Athens. So we fly to Athens and we drive uh, to Lutraki. And Lutraki is uh, has a, a big um, uh, a, a sea, but it's, it's kind of enclosed. So it's usually good um, visibility, good dive in there. And uh, not much boat traffic, um, and so yeah, so it's really good. Um, the downside is the last few times we've been, uh, there's been a few um, uh, jellyfish. In fact, there was swarms so thick we couldn't see them. We went one place, we went to look down, and went ah, oh, it's clear. There's no, there's no jellyfish. And we got down and realised it wasn't the sea we were looking at. It was just jellyfish, uh, thousands of them. Um, and actually the local area they stopped swimming um there for a few uh, for a few years we haven't been back for a few since 2017 but we we should go back uh, really nice locations we've got loads of really good dives and uh, we hire a minibus and we kind of you know go go off hunting and uh, the first time i went there um i was in a cafe now the, the um the area is uh, a holiday destination for the Athenians, so they go there to on holiday. So there's not really uh, an English kind of contingent there. And I was in a cafe, and a lady didn't speak a word of English. And it was a picture, a beautiful picture, um, from up on high, looking down at this beautiful bay. And I was like, "Wow, that's paradise! Let's, I, I want to go there." Asked the lady in in you know where it was, and she kind of vaguely 
explained as another guy in there literally just buying coffee who kind of spoke a little bit of English and he told us which road to take to try and uh, kind of find this place that we we saw this photo of and um, we uh, spent the next few days trying to find this place and uh, we, we eventually found it but we also f went further on uh, when trying to find it so there's a, this dive location called paradise and there's a place just beyond it which is called beyond paradise because it's a little bit too far on uh, we went too far um, and then we started kind of running out of names so we've got utopia um, which is possibly the yeah, one of the best free dive spots in the world utopia it's got um, a little a little pond of, of seawater which is super warm you get suited up on in and then just swim through a crack and it just drops off um super deep super clear beautiful and um, but you can swim around a rock and get back to, to, to the beginning so you've got a choice of depths from the drop off all i don't know how deep it is um in 50 60 meters or something um but you've got a choice of that all the way up to no meters you know one meter two meters so you can pick whichever depth you want within a kind of you know a couple of hundred yards swim uh, or you can just swim back through the little crack back into your pond to get de-kitted you have to run the gauntlet with the uh, urchins in a little passageway but yeah nothing's perfect anyway um so uh without further ado this uh, features braden braden lynch so big up braden lynch uh who's who's back back home he was over uh, from down under he was here from for a, for a couple of years diving with us uh, and and a, and a mini fryer so uh, this is called evil eye for some reason it's i will warn you now there's not much free diving in it um it, it's more yeah it's more of a film okay <laughs>
So, uh, yeah, fantastic uh, little video. Really enjoyed making it. Uh, and it was just people on, on the trip that year that we, uh, yeah, so that was in, I say, in Lutraki. Um, Horion Bay was uh, that, uh, the dive location. Really, really amazing location. It goes from zero to a hundred and something um just off the off the shore which is fantastic um anyway uh we're moving on um so uh kiri and i went on um just a holiday uh, in 2015 um to uh, a greek island called uh Kefalonia. um and we had literally um just literally um, picked a, a location any a greek lo greek greek island sounds great super cheap let's go and we were genuinely thinking shall we take our wetsuits should we not take our wetsuits and we decided to take our, our wetsuits um and i started looking up what was on the, on the island and there were some incredible caves on the island and when we were there we went looking for some of these caves and we one of them uh we we hunted for ages and ages um for this 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 cave that we'd, we'd heard about we we had a higher castle we went up into the hills and, and we were kind of look i was climbing up on kind of rocks and looking down and seeing if we could see a lighter land and and one place was this unofficial dump with a coffin there like open on the other side and we're like oh this is too scary so we kind of kind of ran away and we were absolutely knackered got back to the to the the room the hotel and just wanted a cup of tea and there was no tea bag so i went upstairs to the owner and i said uh hiya you know, can we have a tea bag or a couple of tea bags he went yeah, yeah no worries what you've been doing today i said oh, we've been looking for this cave called savatis we've been looking all over the place and he no word of a lie leant out of the door that he was standing next to and went it's just there <laughs> and i went what and he said see that see that fence it's just there we're like no under 100 yards away from the, the room and we'd spent all day up in the mountains like getting our legs cut by brambles and climbing through things to try and find this place and um and uh yeah it was it was um uh, it, it looked like this okay so when we got there it looked like this uh and it looks unassuming but as you may have guessed by my uh, bad finger play uh, underwater it looks like this so uh, this was the cave that we, um, we we found on that very first trip um, we've been back a fair few times now to try and get this shot actually because uh, we we kind of dived dived this 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 place like this and, and it was nice and we wanted to go back and after a few a few times we found the light um and actually four years later i managed to actually get um this shot which you know four years of, of trying um on that very first trip we also uh, heard about um a place called agalaki which i will be showing a film next week about that and uh, going through through that um and we also found uh, another hole this enormous hole in the ground which uh took us a fair time to dive so i'm gonna show the video i'm gonna uh talk over it and tell you a little bit about it we went back um a couple of a couple of times and tried to try to kind of see what was in it um yeah, okay. So. <laughs>
So I've turned myself back on so you can hear me now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so... Um, so, uh, yeah, as you can see, we can you have to abseil down the first section and uh, then uh, walk down a sketchy bit, and it is sketchy, down uh, to the water's edge of where we dive. The actual underwater section is uh, Mika's Magical Mansion of Mystery. Uh, which was um, a swim through discovered by Mika. Um, thus, he got to name it. Um, and and but the the, the abseiling down and going down to that water is just incredible. You have to uh, time it. There's the, the, you saw the shot with the the high shot of the water where it's insanely blue, and that's when the light is streaming in at the right the right time, and the sun moves across quite quickly across the water so you got maybe depending on the time of year maybe 10 minutes where it's all lit um, uh, by the sun and then the shadow moves across and you kind of lose it again so incredible locations um, and um, I would urge everybody to kind of do your homework learn a bit of SRT so that you can experience these locations and these are the Kefalonia caves which we do uh, as a separate trip or as part of the trip um, run by a Panos on the yacht um, uh, obviously when we're on a yacht trip we don't spend too much time on Kefalonia but there are a couple of places that we can kind of access uh, you know the duck pond and, and Zavatis and Mika's Magical Mansion of Mystery um, so um, the other thing we do uh, on the yacht trip is explore and find things not only on Kefalonia but the other islands uh, around Ithaca, um, uh, which is one next to it. Has the um, the Eye of the Cyclops, which we we have now located. It took a long time to locate that one, um, and we can dive it and we can show you where it is. And um, I'll talk about the Eye of Cyclops next week along with uh, Agalaki. So, one of the things that we um, we heard about, I heard about this, or rather I saw, just on one of the scuba, they have a couple of scuba centres on Kefalonia, uh, we were there just on a yacht trip, and I saw this dusty picture of this, this yacht, this boat, this wreck, and I was asking who it was, we found out the name of the wreck, and uh, Elias, who's the skipper, just happened to be chatting to somebody uh oh yeah we're, we're trying to find this wreck called a christine some people have told us it had been uh, salvaged and was on a you know gone some people have told us on a different island but um literally elias was drinking coffee mentioned that we were trying to find this place and uh, the person oh yeah i know where it is I, I i i stayed there last night i stayed in the same that cove you can see it from the surface we're like what uh, it turns out that it was a smuggler's uh, ship and possibly tied in with uh, the Italian Mafia. Who knows? Um, and they sunk the ship themselves um, out at sea, but they didn't do a very good job. So the currents brought it in. So it actually rested, uh, you know, came to rest quite shallow. Um, but it went down. It had been cleared out. It's, 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 it's weird because there's not a lot of stuff in it, but there is some stuff in it. So obviously went down, there's power tools in there and 
um, all, all the sonar systems not been salvaged uh, so it, it's complete but there's no like uh, chairs or tables on it so somebody's kind of cleared it out and that's obviously they cleared out a load of stuff before they sank it and they did get arrested for um, creating a marine um, uh, you know, uh, littering basically <laughs> but it's a beautiful wreck it's got two uh, lorries on it and the third one that's fallen off to the side but it's sitting upright and you can only dive it at a certain time so it's really tough to get to um, you can only do it by uh, by yacht um, and yeah it's an incredible dive and here is one of my favorite videos um, called the Christine obviously um, and this is hipster diving uh, the Christine wreck uh, which took us a long time to find um, and then obviously the skills of Elias and Panos got getting us there at uh, six o'clock in the morning because that was the window we had we had to get there at six in the morning it was amazing and we can now we now know where it is so we can now dive it so enjoy <music> So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. An amazing place. Um, and I like this particularly um, because quite a few of my films are about a lone freediver, uh, kind of enjoying places. And um, and this one, you can see that the, the safety divers. So Marco is Matt's di uh, safety. And as Matt's coming up, Marco's behind me, super close ready to kind of assist Matt but I've got my safety diver Simon who's also behind me out shot uh, so there's 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 four of us in the water plus we had somebody helping out uh, on the, on the boy as well so there's five of us trying to get this shot and the whole point of the shot the whole point of the idea of the film was to get one person enjoying this wreck on their own but it takes five people to do it and that's I mean that's the joy of, of what we do as no tanks that it's not about um, the one person it's about what we can do as a group and in fact all um, all three films today have really focused on the fact that it's a group activity and we're a team uh, we're a different team every time we do things but we're a team and we're there to enjoy the experience so this is why I've grouped these three together because it's about the team effort the group and what it takes to to get um, well what I think are really good videos obviously I think they're really good videos but um, 
to get these videos, whether they're good or bad, it takes a whole group of people coming together for this one purpose. And, and this is what we do and this is why we enjoy it. Um, so thank you very much for, for kind of uh, coming along tonight. Hopefully uh, gives you a bit of background uh, behind uh, some of these uh, things. And I best make a note of what is, you know, next week we're going to be doing Agalaki um, and the Eye of Cyclops. And, and I'll delve into the uh, annals of history and find uh, another video as well. So thank you very much. Don't forget Monday night is Q&A. Um, uh, any questions you, you want, you can... Um, Send them over to me beforehand, and I'll uh, get on to them. And um, yeah, Wednesday in the in the park, Friday film night next week. So thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget, everybody is welcome to the AGM on Tuesday at seven thirty. So Monday's Q and A, but on Tuesday is Q and A uh, is uh, AGM annual general meeting. Everybody's uh, welcome. We'll be telling you how the club's moving forwards and how we're going to come back uh, to the pool sessions. Um, so, yeah, uh, please, uh, please be there on Tuesday if you're not there on Monday. Cheers. Thank you very much.